Hello everyone and welcome to the Tikachin Castle documentary. First, let's learn the history about the castle. I will let Headmaster Steve take it from here. The Tikerson Royal Castle is a 15th century castle located in Tikerson, Poland. It fell into ruin in the 18th century and its reconstruction began in 2002. The castle was built in 1433 for a Lithuanian noble, Jonas Gustautas, the ovode of Trachia and Vilnius, replacing the original wooden fortress. In the 1560s, upon the death of the last member of the Gustautas family, the castle became the property of King Sigismund II Augustus, who expanded it. During the reign of Sigismus Augustus, the structure served as a royal residence with an impressive treasury and library, as well as the main arsenal of the crown. In 1611 to 1632, the castle was rebuilt again and surrounded with bastion fortifications by Christosof Wysielowski, senior of Tickerson. During the deluge in 1655, the Radziwill army occupied the castle. On December 31st, 1655, when the castle was besieged by troops of the Tzewski Federation, Janusz Radziwill, one of the most powerful people in the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, considered by some as the traitor, died here. Ultimately, the capsule was captured on January 27, 1657. In the following years, the castle and surrounding lands were donated to Stefan Zarecki in reward for his contribution in the war. The new owner rebuilt the castle after 1698. In November 1705, the meeting between King Augustus II, the Strong, and Peter the Great took place here. During this meeting, the Order of the White Eagle was established by the King of Poland. In 1734, the castle was destroyed by fire. Since that time, the uninhabited building began to fall into disrepair. In 1771, remains of the castle were destroyed by flood. And in 1914, during World War I, the material from the remaining walls was used by the German soldiers to build roads. Based on the preserved plans of the fortress, found in the archives in St. Petersburg, the residential part of the castle has been restored. West Wing in the style of the late Gothic. The original castle was built on a plan of a trapezoid with a courtyard and four cylindrical towers at the corners. The complex was surrounded with fortifications. Curtains combined four terrestrial inner bastions. In about 1565, the King Sigismund Augustus installed at the castle his private treasury and a collection of books, initially stored at the Vilnius Castle. Sigismund Augustus was a passionate collector of jewels. According to Nuncio Bernardo Bogdivani's revelation, his collection was allocated in 16 chests. Among the precious items in his possession was Charles V ruby of 80,000 scudos worth, as well as the Emperor's diamond medal with Habsburg's eagle on one side and two columns with a sign plus ultra on the other side. He had also a sultan's sword worth 16,000 ducats, 30 precious horse trappings, and 20 different private use armors. The papal nuncio wrote in his diary, I also saw 20 suits of royal armor, of which four were of most wondrous workmanship, namely with a beautiful sculpture and figures set with silver. It cost 6,000 scudos. The king's possession included a rich collection of tapestries, 360 pieces, commissioned by him in Brussels in the years 1550 to 1560, which decorated the castle's walls. The king's treasures were scattered after his death. Thanks, Steve. That was great. All these videos that you just saw were filmed by me when I was visiting. There are, however, a few places in the castle I was not allowed to film, but I do have pictures to show you. There were a bunch of real treasures from the castle. This cool piece right here is actually a real piece of the fireplace that they had in the castle. 
After these pieces were found, people could replicate the fireplace and make a similar copy. Obviously, it doesn't look exactly the same as the original one as they didn't get all the pieces, but it's the closest they got. I'll let you take a look at the rest of the pictures. Sigismund Augustus married three times. His first wife, Elizabeth of Austria, died in 1545 at just 18. He was then involved in several relationships with mistresses, the most famous being Barbara Radziwill, who became Sigismund's second wife and Queen of Poland in spite of his mother's disapproval. The marriage was deemed scandalous and was fiercely opposed by the royal court and the nobility. Barbara died five months after the coronation, presumably due to ill health. However, rumors circulated that she was poisoned. Sigismund finally wedded Catherine of Austria but remained childless throughout his life. Elizabeth of Austria was the eldest of 15 children of Ferdinand I and his wife Anne of Bohemia and Hungary. Elizabeth was of frail health, suffering from epileptic seizures and died at age 18. Elizabeth entered Krakow and met Sigismund Augustus for the first time. The same day, 16-year-old Elizabeth married 22-year-old Sigismund Augustus in the Wawel Cathedral. The wedding celebration continued for two weeks. She was also crowned as the Queen of Poland, which only increased the ire of Bona Sforza, who detested her title of Old Queen. Barbara was crowned as Queen of Poland on December 7, 1550, in Wawel Cathedral, by Mikolai III Sierzgowski, Archbishop of Gniezno. However, her reign lasted only five months. Almost since her wedding in 1547, she complained of poor health, particularly of stomach pain or internal stones. After the coronation, her health took a turn for worse. She had fevers, stomach pain, and lost appetite. A lump appeared on her stomach, full of pus. Sigismund Augustus asked to send women healers, including a Jewish woman from Lithuania. Catherine of Austria married Polish King Sigismund II Augustus and became the Queen Consort of Poland. Their marriage was not happy and they had no children together. After a likely miscarriage in 1554 and a bout of illness in 1558, Sigismund became increasingly distant. He tried but failed to obtain a divorce from the Pope. 
Sigismund complained to Papal Nuncio Giovanni Francesco that marriage to Catherine was sinful because she was a sister of his first wife, that she hated Poland, that she caused a miscarriage in 1554, and that he was physically disgusted by his wife due to her epilepsy. Due to Habsburg influence, Pope Pius IV did not allow the divorce. In 1565, Catherine returned to Austria and lived in Linz until her death. Sigismund died just a few months after her bringing the Jagellon dynasty to its end. Jonas Gostatos married Dorota Zadora and had five children. His second wife name was Elspieta. Jonas Gustatus secured positions as a palatine voivode of Trakai in 1433, gift from Grand Duke Sigismund, and from 1443, palatine of Vilnius and Chancellor of Lithuania, holding the most important positions in the state and supporting young Grand Duke, he became actual ruler of Lithuania until young Duke came of age and started his own policies as early as 1444. The castle today is still open to the public. In fact, it's a three-star hotel that has free Wi-Fi, free breakfast, free parking, is kid-friendly, and they have a restaurant and a bar. On their social media, such as Instagram and Facebook, they have been posting pictures of delicious looking food from the castle. I regret not staying the night at the castle. Hopefully one day when I visit again, I will stay overnight and maybe even vlog it for you guys. I just think that it's sad how the castle got destroyed. I like where the castle is located and I was lucky enough to visit it during a warm summer day. I want to thank the Tikuchin Castle for giving me permissions to post this video to YouTube. I will leave all the links and credits in the description if you want to check them out. If you enjoyed this documentary, please subscribe and like the video, it will mean a lot to me and maybe one day I will be able to make these videos as a full time job and visit other castles around the world. Thank you for watching and I will see you later.